Now, first and foremost, there's a few things I want to share. But number one, guys, we got to recognize one thing. That God initially did not create hell for humans according to scripture. Matthew chapter 25 verses 41 says this. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, depart from me. You cursed into the everlasting fire prepared for who? For the devil and his angels. So God is going to send mankind who refuses to receive him and accept him as lord into where into a place called hell where there is everlasting torment prepared though for the devil and his angels god created man he said be fruitful and multiply the earth why would he send mankind to hell where the devil and his angelic legion are going to dwell why would god do this well guys there is another reason as to why this is going to happen if you don't want God here, why would a good God force you outside of your desire, outside of your will? If you so desire to do life the way you choose to do life, to live life absent of God, you don't want God to order your steps. You don't want to receive God for who he is. You don't want to love God and participate in the things of God. You don't want anything to do with God. But at the same token, you're complaining about God sending people to hell. That makes absolutely no sense. As a good God, he must allow you to work out your desire and your will. And in that, guys, there's something called consequence. Outside of the sacrifice of Christ, guys, there is an eternal consequence, an eternal punishment, which is literally separation from God. And God must allow this to happen because he will not force you against your will if you willingly desire to not want him so god's goodness is literally defined by god allowing you and i to choose what we want to do and yes i understand there's things such as predestination and election and all of these things that i will definitely cover in a separate video but generally speaking guys man has a will all right i've chosen to make this video i did not have to make this video for example Many of us have chosen to reject Jesus, reject the sacrifice that God has given on to us. And as a good God, he's going to give you what you want. There are only two options, guys. In eternity, you're either with God or you're not with God. And that's basically what hell is. Separation from the grace of God. Separation from the mercies and the love of God. That is the eternal torment that the scriptures is actually alluding to. So God, as a good God, is going to give people what they actually really want. So before we ask the question, why did God create hell? We got to ask ourselves this question. Do I even want God? Do I even want to be with God? Do I even love God or desire God? And knowing that hell was not initially made for you should make you think about the love of God in a much more deeper way. So guys, I hope that this may have helped answer this question for you as it relates to why did God choose to create hell? If you want more deeper understanding as it pertains to this specific topic, check out my videos in the description area. Once again, guys, I pray that this may have helped you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, you already know, it's all love. Take it easy. Peace.